Luna and I play a lot of Frisbee, and we have burned through a lot of different dog discs over the last couple of years. So I decided to make a video where I compare a few different discs. Let's start with a quick look at the K10 competition standard. Anybody who enjoys freestyle disking with their doggo knows these Frisbees do not hold up to abuse. After a few sessions, they'll be chewed up, punctured, and even split. They need to be disposed of if they're too damaged or they could injure your dog's mouth. Made by Hyperflight, they're popular for their lightweight, reliable flight that allows for easy to catch floaty shots. They're used in competition and touted as great for long distance. Personally, I find them too disposable. That means they waste money and are more harmful to the environment due to their short lifespan. So I decided to give Daredevil discs a try, as the Canadian company has a similar disc available at a similar price, and I enjoy many of their disc golf discs. Daredevil describes this frisbee as a competition standard disc at 115 grams. That's 10 more than the K10. The company notes this disc is not bite resistant, which is good because it's not. The plastic is a bit tougher, but Luna and her friend Alpha managed to bite right through it after one session. As far as its flight, it floats nicely, holding a relatively straight line as it descends to the earth slow enough for the dogs to catch it with ease. Compared to a K10, I can put more torque on this disc when I throw for distance, giving it more of a disc golf style drive that nears the 200 foot mark. The K10 is far flippier and requires a gentler touch for distance shots. And that is why I would choose the Daredevil model if I had a choice in distance competitions. While they appear more durable than the K10, I don't think these discs will last much longer. They already have significant damage after a few sessions. So I was excited to try Anova's Super Dog. It's made of Anova's G-Star plastic, which is known in the disc golf world as being tough but lightweight. It's flippier than the company's Star Plastic, which makes it a good choice for a dog disc. This disc can handle torque, and it goes far. It is also very tough, Weighing in at around 150 grams, this disc is heavier for sure. It's not as easy to throw with a flick of the wrist than the lightweight models, but it still floats at short distances really well considering its size and weight. I'm impressed with this disc's ability to hold a hyzer line, going right to left at a high speed without flipping like most dog discs do. I'm also able to control its flight pretty well, creating nose-up shots that float down slowly for an easier catch. Being able to manipulate these types of reliable, lofty throws is key to ensuring Luna can consistently catch them. It is way tougher than the K10, or the Daredevil disc, holding up quite well to the abuse from Luna and Alpha. Alpha has a much harder bite, and often goes right through discs, but so far this one has no punctures after a few sessions. Overall, this disc is good enough that I will buy several to have on hand. I love the distance I can get with it, about 250 feet with no wind. I also love the amount of control I have over shorter flights. However, as tough as Super Dog is, it will never compare to Jaws by Hyperflight. I've had these two discs for nearly two years and they just don't die. I've played plenty with both Luna and Alpha and they have never punctured them. I am sure a hard-mouthed dog could damage them, but these discs are tough. I love that because I hate contributing to the world's plastic waste problem by using what are essentially disposable discs. These discs are like the everlasting gobstopper from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. With the right nose-up spin, they will float down to earth relatively slowly, but they are much faster and can be harder to catch. As far as distance, I can put them out over 250 feet for sure, but they tend to flip hard to the right because they're so beat up. They don't float in the air nearly as well as the lightweight discs, so they're not as good for close range shots. Of course, there's no comparison to the floppy rubber Kong disc as far as toughness is concerned, but Kongs just don't fly well compared to Jaws. Jaws is my favorite, only because it's so durable. The Innova Super Dog now, however, is a close second. And as for Luna, she loves all discs. All day. Every day. Where's the frisbee? You bring it. 
Thank you. Okay.